Hello, Virgo. Rambler Mike here. Go play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time that I do. Appreciate the likes, the subscribes. Thanks for hitting those buttons for me. Appreciate it. Definitely always want to thank all my Virgo friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, so very kind of you, my friends. Appreciate them all, large or small. Virgo, if you have ever blessed me with a donation, thank you. Of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Uh, Ramblin' Nation's a membership channel that I have here on YouTube. Every Wednesday night, we got tarot parties going on over there. We're playing with cards, we're giving away tarot decks, we're giving away t-shirts. Every Saturday night, another live broadcast with Ramblin' Nation. On Saturday nights, we draw for a free reading with old Ramblin' Mike. Reading free for my members, the ones that catch the lucky star. T-shirts, tarot decks, Saturday nights are fun. Also, I uh, do uh, behind the scenes when I go out and set up at locations like this. I show my peeps where and how and... I pulled some cards for them too. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, love to have you. The join button is right beside the subscription button. I have to say the best thing really about Ramblin' Nation is the family over there anymore. Again, I love you guys. Join button's right beside the subscription button. If there's not a join button on your device, there's always a link in my description area of all my videos take you to that membership page. I'll see many of you huh, behind the scenes, Wednesday nights and Saturday nights. Got one more tarot party to talk about, Virgo. And that's November 6th, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. Meet and greet with old Ramblin' Mike, big old tarot party we're throwing. I'm inviting all of my readers from divinelylovetarot.com. They're all gonna be there. I have a special guest who I'm excited. It's Batty from Battison Intuitive Tarot. She's going to be in the house on November 6th, reading cards with us. I'm going to be reading cards, door prizes, full-blown dinner, drinks. Oh, yeah, there's a link. It's in the description area. Check it out. Go hit the button. You know you want to take a look. It's a nice tarot party. And I will see many of you November 6th. All right, all right. Virgo, what's going on? I'm looking around here. I'm seeing four of wanders. I'm seeing the lovers. <sighs> Choices, that's where a lot of us are at right now. Look at six wands right there. You may not, in reverse, you may not be happy where you're at. We'll see, let's get tuned in right here. Let's have some fun. Six cups, what's going on here, Virgo? Whoa, that's past love stuff. Ooh, queen of love right there too, say what? All right, all right, all right. Let's tune in. Hey, Tarot, I love team. Virgo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. Man, the, the wheel. <laughs> tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I wanna thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Have Virgo seeing here what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all of these amazing pictures. Put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Virgo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. All right, Virgo, we're going to throw you a Celtic cross, freestyle. Clarify a lot of it with the Witch's Tarot, some love cards. A couple majors overall from the star, man. Here we go. Here we go, love team, cutting the deck. Virgo, love, relationships, here we go. What we got, Virgo, what we got? Two swords, yeah, a little bit of a crossroads. Could be your energy, could be a friend's, you know what's going on. Two swords, you know, that's, that's not making a choice, but you know, this card in the Tarot Illuminati always shows the young lady with her hair blowing back. So that tells me that the winds of change have begun to blow, even though somebody's been sitting on a bench right here and not making their mind up about what they're going to do. Virgo, is that you or is it your friend? Here we go. 
Here we go. I saw the wheel spinning all kinds of fun stuff. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Heartbeat of the Celtic Cross, three swords. Oh, Lord have mercy. That, that, that'll get you off the bench. That'll get you off the bench. The problem with sitting on that two swords bench is that if you sit there too long, tower can come because the choice has to be made. That's a breakup card for me. It's a rough way to start a read. Can only get better from there for many of my Virgos. More air energy again. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Here we go. Mikey's going to do a little bit of spiritual surgery right here. I'm going to shake these out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Virgo's heart. Get out of Virgo's reading. It's a breakup card. I got the sun in reverse. All right. Let's turn this, let's turn this around right here. Let's see. Tarot, come on. Can only we can only go up from these rocks right here. What do we got? Three of cups, uh, you know, with the three swords and the three cups, it's pretty obvious to me. Third party activity. Not not my most favorite cards coming out here. I do have some kind of See, because Three of Cups can talk about happiness and joy and bliss as well. But for many of my Virgos, you know, there's been some betrayal here of some degree. Ending a relationship, Three Swords right into the heartbeat, you know, with Three Cups. But, but happiness and joy and bliss is connected with Three Cups as well. And I do have a princess on the bottom of the deck right here, princess of wands. And she is about passionate communication, something that you may have wanted for a while, could bring the three cups of happiness and joy and bliss. See, because this card, even though it's been bashed, and, and, and it should only be bashed really when it's with something like three swords, right? It definitely talks about a third party situation for many of you uh, that has come to an end. And, you know, this is card is about meeting new and exciting people as well. It's very interesting cards that I have here for you, Virgo. It goes from rock bottom to happiness and joy. See, these three young ladies are all celebrating life. They're all going from this level of cornucopia up the stairwell to another level of cornucopia. I do have some kind of messages. This is fire. It's also earth. So it could be Virgo talking to new friends or an old friend. I did see six of cups. Here we go. Base of the spread, love, Virgo. What do we got, love team? Oh, a princess of swords, which talks about somebody keeping an eye on Virgo or Virgo having their eye on somebody. Maybe my Virgo having their eye on somebody. It's another communication card. If it's a communication card, it's a sporadic communication card, my Princess of Swords. Realizing that there's nothing but seagulls in the world, wanting eagles in the world. Ooh, and Six Pinnacles. Which is a card of equal give and take. Reciprocity. Probably been looking at the whole situation for a while. Looking at possibly somebody that makes you happy right here. Three of Cups. Possibly somebody that has six pinnacles in their world. Ooh, Virgo, man. Ace after that. And a chariot. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Movement. Ain't sitting there with that three swords. Gonna get back out in life and celebrate. Could have your eye on somebody or somebody had their eye on you. The Six Pinnacles, Ace of Cups. This story's getting better by the minute. And the Chariot. All right, all right. Let's go right here. Recent past. Been some kind of communication with somebody from what I can see right here. Healing yourself, definitely with three swords. <laughs> four wands coming out. Oh, Virgo and their four wands story right here. This is my people that are dancing around the maypole, right? They're preparing for the big day. That's what I get out of the old 11-11 card, right? It can cause happiness and joy and bliss. 
Who are you talking to? Are you talking to somebody right here? <laughs> I like it. I like four wands. I like people dancing around the Maypole, at least preparing for it. See, because it talks about preparing for it with my princess looking at looking at the four wands, right? Oh, and there's two wands right there. And this is about setting your intentions about moving in a new direction, maybe letting some shit go, but looking at a new world right there. There's always a little wall that we got to press through with two wands. I like everything I see right here. You're talking with somebody. Yeah, man, you're loving on your healing. Crowning the spread. What do we got? Virgo love. Five pinnacles came out. That's an interesting card of, of missing somebody. You know, it's on the bottom. <laughs> the Empress is on the bottom. Venus incarnate in the earth. She's all about, for me, she's all about, you know, she's, she's pregnant. She's always birthing something new and creative. Huh, Virgo? She's about new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love. She's Venus. Five pinnacles, four wands. I mean, this could be some four wanders that were in separation too. Maybe both of them are tired of the three of swords journey. Come on. The four wands can bring. Anyway, I see celebration and happiness and joy. Somebody's been watching the other one for a while. Five Pinnacles says that they really both miss each other. <laughs> All right. I know where I'm at right now. I got a four of wands story with the Empress showing up. All about new beginnings, possibly. Between these two. See, these are two soulmates. Right there. They come and play with each other incarnation after incarnation. And and when one misses the other one, when one's feeling the burn, oh, the other one feels it as well. Been some heartache and some heartbreak, but I love Three of Cups right here if this is resonating with you. Let's see what we got near future. Empress, here we go. Near future, what do we got? What do we got for my two soulmates right there? It looks to me like both of them thinking about dancing around the maple. Here we go, what do we got? <laughs> That's called the Ace of Cups, Virgo. <laughs> it's a new beginning, regardless if it's four wands or whatever. It is. If you just met somebody new, if you just met somebody new right here, it could feel like you've known them forever. If this is a return of some old friends, some old four wanders, it's off to a great start. Ace of Cups is definitely a cup, Virgo, of loving yourself first and foremost. It's definitely a card about being tuned in with source the divine whoever that is to you it's about love and all the possibilities and this ace of cups in this position following five pinnacles can talk about unspoken love being spoken this is a wonderful time you know that's an ace right it's a beginning it's coming out of the three swords energy with my two friends that i'm reading for right here this may not be for every Virgo on the planet, but it's definitely for some Virgos out here that are in a very special union. Both these two miss each other. Both these two <laughs> probably broke each other's hearts. Both these two want happiness and joy and bliss. And I would say both these two have been watching each other and thinking about four wands. Ace of Cups. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh my God, there's an Ace of Wands there too. Ooh la la. You know, I call this the thrust and lust of life. But they're aces. But I like the aces better than three swords. Ooh, there's the sun. <laughs> I love it, Virgo. All right, all right. How, what's, what's going on with Virgo these days? Give me a card on Virgo. I'm not sure who's been watching. Oh, look at Judgment. Is this you that's been watching right here, Virgo? It don't matter to me. Judgment. I'm really excited because this is about some lovers. I don't know if you're four wanders or not, but this is about some lovers figuring it out, right? Justice, five of pinnacles, four of wands, watching each other for a while. A new ace of cups coming in between these two. It's gorgeous. 
It's judgment. Judgment is Phoenix from the ashes. Judgment is second chances, third chances. It's Gabriel flying around, blowing the horn, causing somebody, maybe both of them, to have some kind of spiritual awakening about this connection. This is glorious, man. Wow, seven pins come out after that. For me, it's a divine timing card. It's a patience card. It is that card. It's the money tree as well. I mean, for a wander people, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me if the money tree shows up between these two when they figure it out, right? They're a power couple. A lot of these unions are, uh, they're at least talking right now. They're at the A stage. I'm excited as a tarot reader. Here we go. Exterior influence on three swords and three cups. Oh, communication. Eight wands. Cupid's arrows of love flying around. Could be just as simple as regular texting with each other. Oh, man. Eight wands. Uh, they may be at a distance from each other, but I would say the text are healing the the three swords between these two they're, they're they're helping to bring happiness and joy and bliss back between these two because this is how they both feel it crowns the spread now either this is resonating with you or it's not a lot of times when i talk about somebody coming back the comments get real nasty there's no need this is really nice if you're believing for your lover this is the read for you if you're not you've already Change the channel. Here we go. Oh, I got a king of love. I'm so excited, man. King of love. What is that? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Wow, man. Love's all over this thing, Virgo. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I just, I, you know, the king of love. And then there's four. There's the four of cups. So... It's the reevaluation. They're taking their time. They're definitely talking. Gabriel's flying around. Why wouldn't a tarot reader be happy with this spread? <laughs> it's nice, man. Give me something up here in the old hope or fear. Hope or fear. What do we got? Virgo. The lovers. Oh, lovers. Four of Wands. Ace of Cups. Judgment. There may, there may have been a choice in lovers. We did see two of wands. And many times as people get involved in this, and many times these take a long time to put together. But if there was a choice that needed to be made, it appears to me that the choice has been made. That is a major arcana. It's the first one. No, oh, it's the second one. It's lovers. It's Gemini. Oh my goodness, six pinnacles. Equal give and take. Wow. All right, weather overall. Virgo, beautiful, beautiful. Love. The lover coming in. The one that makes the heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hi, Virgo, here's my cup. <laughs> oh shit, the waterfall. Ah, uh, you see it crushing down. Go Look, this is one of the reasons I play with the Celtic cross. It tells so many stories. This is off uh, the crowning, uh, near future, and uh, weather overall. There they are. Missing each other. There they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, here comes the knight offering a, the cup. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. All right. Not for everybody. I know I'm going to get comments. Be like, I never want to see that person again in my life. I, I, I get it. But there's no need to even leave that comment. Why you tell me? You tell them. Anyway, I'm reading cards. Let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. Because... Somebody's heart's going boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom here. Mm-hmm. I got a princess. Yeah, hey, let's talk. Let's talk. I found this golden coin. You know, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. The quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence. Oh, see, and an ace. Let's talk. Epiphanies. 
anything that needs to be cut out appears it's going to be cut out but solid communication for these two eight wands ace of swords offers to each other look at them both looking at each other tender princess energy <laughs> i saw the emperor by the way <laughs> all right let me let me play with the witch's tarot right here for the virgos that are still with me here we go i find an exciting read there's that empress again all right give me something give me something give me something give me some three swords three cups that's a shift boy Woo! six cups oh my god i love this spread right sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet there's some friends meeting up. You guys have probably already been talking with the two princesses right there. You yeah. <laughs> have. Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. Butterflies. I'm excited. I'm excited. Love is in the air here. <laughs> I, you know, the, the wounded warrior is showing up around here. That's why we got two princesses. But these two are talking. That's awesome, man. Six cups. Some on that four wands. Why not? What do we got? Karma came out. Uh huh. Oh my God! Maybe all the karma's been cleared between these two. Oh man, that's amazing to me. This is resonating with you. Yeah, eight pins after that. Working on it. Wow, what a nice read, Virgo. Makes me wish that I was a Virgo. <laughs> this is gorgeous, man. It's like all the karma's been cleared between these two very, very old soulmates, right? It's, it's gorgeous, man. It's gorgeous. Yeah, another page. They're just talking. <laughs> just talking, man. Sweet talking, though. And some on that Ace of Cups. High Priestess came out. What? Six cups. There may have been silence between these two for a very long time, maybe. And not in the 5D, though. These people dream about each other and everything else. It's right there by six cups. It's right there by karma. Four wands. I mean, that karma card right there uh, out of the Witch's Tarot, this is the judgment card again. It's just called karma in this deck. I swear, man, the High Priestess is here by the Ace of Cups, man. There's been a whole shift in the 5D right here. You know, this energy always starts in the 5D before it goes to the 3D. This is coming in the 3D right here. High Priestess showed up. Whoo! Led and guided. Whoo! Give me some on judgment, please. Judgment, Virgo. <laughs> Four pins came out. Six swords on the bottom. Oh, oh, I, I get it right now because four, four wands is right here. Oh, and, and, and a princess as well. Oh, and, and the death card. What is this story? This is absolutely amazing. On judgment, it came out with four pins, which means that somebody may, may have felt shut out. I don't know. It's a pinnacle. It could be Virgo, right? But I got movement right after that. The, 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 somebody shut the door on these two, these two lovers, probably both of them. But judgment, judgment, look, and then there's six... Six swords towards four wands. I just want to get up and run around. This is learning life lessons. Getting in the boat. Going over to Paradise Island. And that's a princess. That's a princess of cups. If there's apologies needed or all that kind of stuff. Whatever. I don't know how not to be excited with this. Death. Birth, resurrection, transformation, ace of swords, anything that needed to be cut out has gotten in the way of these two. That's done in the 5D. High Priestess stamps it right there on top of six of cups, ace of cups. This is movement in the 3D for whoever it is, probably both of them, getting in the boat, getting away from the door being shut or the feeling of it. 
moving towards four wands. And if there's any apologies between any, either one, it's right here. I don't think a love read gets any better than this. Oh my God, and you both think each other are gorgeous too. All right, love card on this amazing spread for Virgo. Man, here we go. September is going to be a whole different world from what I can see. Here we go. But you are moving in that direction now, aren't you? Chatting. Look at engagement came out. Look at that. Your love life's ascending to a higher level of commitment. Past life relationship. No doubt about that. <laughs> and these two cleared up all that negative energy. Oh, oh, romantic feelings. And, and what's that? Love yourself first. I'm excited. Yeah. Romantic feelings and love yourself first. They're still loving themselves first. Both of them have learned how to love properly. Look at deceptions in reverse. I'm, all right. Beautiful. I've been waiting all my life for reads like this with these people. <laughs> Virgo. Give me a major. Have fun. Enjoy this journey. There we go. What have we got? Virgo. Give me a card. Hermit. That's a Virgo card. Not so fast, Mike. <laughs> and they're princesses down here. Yeah, and this is uh, spending time with Source, right? It's my Sage card, you know. It's absolutely a gorgeous spread. It's about astrological alignments lining up. It's about being at the right place at the right time. <laughs> it's on the bottom of the deck. The Empress. Always birthing something new and creative. Wow, wow, now, now. I gotta show you these. This is the Empress. This is Temperance. And this is the Emperor. This is a huge reunion card for the Empress and the Emperor. Virgo, led and guided by Source. Hermit. <laughs> still a little bit of, still a little bit of. I see it though, man. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm happy for you. Hope this resonated with every Virgo on the planet. I love you, Virgo. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.